Hi everyone, this is Anurag. Today, in this session, we are going to see about creation of users and groups. Okay, in Linux operating system, there are two types of users. They are root user and normal user. Root user is represented by hash prompt, whereas normal user is represented by dollar prompt. There can be only one root user and many number any number of ma many number of normal users okay these normal users are created by root user itself okay so in this session we will see how to create normal users okay here we will see how to create users and also we will see how to create groups what is a group a collection of users are gathered into a group we can create user separately and group separately we can assign a user existing user to the existing group and also exi a new user to the existing group what all this let us see in our session now okay now first of all let us see how to create groups creation of groups in that first one group at g1 here this is a group name am i giving any uh, id for this group no directly we have mentioned a group name a default id will be generated by the system now i want to create a group by specifying some id how can i do group add hyphen g 1010 to g2 here 1010 is the id we can give any id this is the name of the group we use hyphen g option in order to give id for this group now for the first group default id was generated i want to change the id the, for that we use the command group mod hyphen g 1020 to g1 this is modifying the group understood the concept now i want to delete the group how can i delete the group group del g1 like this now I want to see all the information about the groups. We use the command cat space slash etc slash group. This group is a file. This file is present in etc directory. Okay. To see the contents we use cat space etc slash etc slash group. Now let us see how to create users. Now let us see creation of users. user at u1 this is name of the user i have directly created the user i have not given id id not given here so a default id will be generated for this user now i want to create a user and i want to assign id i can achieve by using this user at hyphen u uh, some 3010 u2 here this is the id for that user this is the name of the user hyphen u is a option to create a, a user with uh, to assign a id to the user now i want to modify a user that means you for user u1 there is a default id given i want to change the id for this i have i will give user mod u1 now if i want to delete a user user mod u2 like this we can delete a user i want to see all the details about a user we use cat space slash etc slash pass wd stands for password okay this is also a file which is present in etc directory now let us see how to assign a new user to the existing file sorry existing group how to assign a new user to the existing group for that we use the command user add hyphen u uh, some id For example, I want to create a user called u1. So what is this? I want to create, let us take an, a new example. I want to create a user u1. To create a new user, we use the command user add. To assign id for that user, we use hyphen u option. 
this user is allocated is assigned to the group g1 to specify that we are using hyphen g here you can use group name or you can use group id and hyphen d we use to specify this directory path by using this hyphen m this will become home directory home directory for u1 user that means whenever you log in as root user okay home directory will be root similarly when you log in as u1 user the home directory disk1 ora data understood the concept right now if you want to assign a existing user to the existing group just use user mod okay let us see the demo session now for this so let us see how to create a group first group add g1 i have created a group called as g1 now i want to add one more group for this group g1 i have not given the id so default id is assigned now i want to create a new group with by specifying a id we use the command group add hyphen g 1010 g2 like this a group is assigned now i want to see all this group related information to see group related information we use the command cat space slash etc slash group so what it is showing g1 group g2 group g1 group by default a uh, group a id is assigned that is 2005 for g2 group i have assigned a id 1010 like this we can see the group details now i want to change the group id for g1 so we used group mod hyphen g 10 any id we can give okay g1 now give the same commands cat Slash etc slash group. What it shows? ID was changed to one zero two zero. Understood the concept? Now let us drop a group G one. How to drop group? Group del G one. That's it. A group is removed. Now check whether group is removed or not. Yes, G one is removed. Understood the concept, right? Now let us see how to create users. user add u1 a user called u1 is created now user add hyphen u 10 uh, for example i am giving 95 u2 now a user is created with id 1095 for user u1 default id is created cat space slash etc slash pass wd what it is showing here u1 u2 both users are created it is showing the details now let us see what is mean by these details here u2 um, u2 user is there this user's password is encrypted that's why it is showing x okay id 1095 this represents home location for this user and this uh, the home directory for this user and this represents shell default shell for this user see for user you have one i have not assigned any id so default id is generated now i want to change the default id how can i change user mod hyphen u 1091 u1 now use the command cat space slash etc slash pass wd it is showing like this u1 default id was changed now i want to drop this user user del u1 sorry one minute user u1 is removed then user u2 is also removed now okay i have re removed this two users okay now if you see here cat space slash etc slash group g2 group is there okay I want to create a user U1 and assign to that group. How can I do that one? User add hyphen U three zero one zero hyphen G 
g2 hyphen d disk1 ora data hyphen m u1 that means a user u1 is created it is showing just a warning it's not a error okay if i see these details cat space slash etc slash pass wd here by using user add we are creating this user u1 we are assigning id for this user we are assigning this user to g2 group and this becomes home directory for this user what is this let us see okay u1 user is created here id is assigned id is 3010 this 1010 is group id g2 group this home directory is disk one ora data it is home, its default shell is bin bash now what is mean by this home directory let us see for example if you connect as this u1 user okay by default you will be logging into disk one ora data if i connect as root user okay okay if i connect as root user i will be connecting as, uh, by logging into by default we are logging into root directory understood the concept right this is default directory so uh, this is about our session okay our session is completed hope you enjoyed the session let us see next session bye